Oh, you have your own sauce. How about that? I might do a little less dunking now. <laughs> All right, so we have a recurring segment on our show called Explain That Gram, and what we do is we do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram. We pull interesting pictures okay. that need more context. So I'll show I you the it. picture, and then you just tell me the bigger story. Does that sound good? You got it. All right, laptop, please. First and Ooh. foremost, what's going on in this <clears throat> picture? Okay, that was in St. Louis two years ago at a summer concert festival. I performed my famous double back meaning I flopped my dick and balls back and forth violently until jumping up in the air and clasping my thighs together, catching the back burger, and then pulled down my, uh, my boxer shorts, revealing the mangina to 15,000 people. I had to pixelate the dick and balls protruding from my rear. For Instagram strict guideline policy. Right, but Snapchat let that one slide. Undercover clown with Justin Bieber? It wasn't actually planned, and when we were out in clown makeup filming it in Venice, just pranking people and doing all this crazy shit, and lo and behold, that's Justin Bieber, just plain, plain day, walking. And uh, I went up to him and, and I said, yo, dude, what's up, man? And he goes, Steve-o, man, recognize you right away. And I'm like, wow. I'm like, hey, dude. So we started skateboarding in the Venice skate park together. He signed a release form to be in my video, put it out, and then, like maybe a week later, he was uh, all over the news for uh, making some kind of racist joke in an age-old video that had surfaced. And there was all this negative publicity, and the very people who paid me asked me to make the video private because Justin Bieber was, was like radioactive. Was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so all of the money they gave me was for nothing. I have one more for you. <laughs> this is an adorable picture. Nine years old. Uh, the team is called the Kendall Broncos. What's great about this isn't that picture, but that I was wearing that same uniform, shoulder pads and everything, when I went in to get my passport photo taken for my Canadian citizenship card. This is so incredible because like always, as a child, I was just uncomfortable in my own skin, which is pretty par for the course for alcoholics and stuff. That's why, you know, and like I just felt that in my football uniform that I was more, I, I, I amounted to more. I always had my outfit, my, my costume that made me feel better. I wanted to grow my little mullet because I was like a heavy meddler, you know, and I had to, that was my identity. And then, and then it was like skateboarding and then it was pot and drug, you know, but always like I had to have that like identity. You were in a phase, you were, in a, you were always right, in a phase. Perpetually in a phase, I was never just comfortable being me in my own skin. Well, you look like you're comfortable in your skin. I, I've, I've made a lot of progress. 